I love poking around in the Rocky intertidal. I have taught 11 courses since I got to UBC, uh, which is six years ago. I'm now mostly teaching environmental science and climate change courses and oceanography. I hope that uh, I receive the award for efforts to make my classes student focused and also evidence based. Everything takes practice, right? And, and for anyone to learn something, they have to do that deliberate practice themselves. There's really no substitute. You're not going to get anywhere uh, just by listening to someone else. I ask my students to do a lot, and I ask them to do a lot all the way along through the terms. So it's very different from a class where really you've got a midterm and a final and you've got to cram for those two things and that's, that's it. The comments that I really appreciate are those from students who say, I hated this at the start and I really appreciate it now because I didn't even have to study for the exam because I was practicing with that all the way along. I do like to bicycle. Bicycling is connected in a lot of ways to what I do. It's connected to transportation issues, which are connected to climate change issues. I do often, on my bike ride, get an idea that I'd been struggling with and that I have now figured out a way to deal with. Teaching is a creative outlet. Fiddle playing is a creative outlet. Making quilts is a creative outlet. And they're all about um, putting patterns together. I like the arrangement of things. I like how things fit together. Winning the Killam Teaching Prize is just, it's a thrill. It's an affirmation of past effort. It's a heartening reminder of UBC's commitment to teaching and learning. And I think it's a, it's a challenge. It's a motivating challenge. An inspiration to do things better as an educator.